first time, Jason, getting to see this competition up close. What are you looking forward to tonight? Yeah, well, I watched the last one on the telly and, and I thought, you know, it was really good to watch on telly. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it up close tonight, seeing what the riders are doing in between the races, how they're warming up. It, it's so frantic, you know, and just seeing how they deal with that. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to kind of seeing a little bit more. Barret that is setting the pace. And Jeffrey Hulan left it too late. And what's Nico Paul going to do about it? The 200 marker is uh, is coming up. Paul's just on the outside. He gets taken all the way up by Darash. And um, but I'm ashamed for this man, Nicholas Paul. Now watch this. Uh, we're going to see a bit of on board here. Now what happened here? So we've just got... Ooh. See? It is, of shoulders there. It is crazy, isn't it? Now, Dennis, there. Um, I think it's just like, that's Karen Reeson. We are going so fast, and to make decisions at a split second, sometimes mistakes happen, but that's Karen. You've got to love it. Get away with this, is it? Has he got too early? That's the big question. Here's the final lap. Bell announces it, and it's time to get very, very busy, and my man is here. Stefan Bollinger is up on the blue line, wrestling in with Hulan at the moment. It's the race out front. Who's going to get there? Oh, it's the race at the head of Hulan, the Bottinger. you one, two, three. The winner of the Karen race, Harry Leverison. Harry, congratulations. Thank you. Amazing crowd, the ones that we have today here in the, modrome, in the velodrome. Congratulations. You have started in the same way that you did in Mallorca. So how is it feeling? It feels uh, pretty good. Uh, happy to win the first race in the, the leaders, <laughs> leaders uh, kit. Oh, I'm sorry. Whew. I'm sorry because we don't give you any time. No, to no. <laughs> Here we are, Marina Martin to Portugal also there on board now as we pick up the pace on the final lap. Who's got what it takes? Can Katie Archibald get there as she hits the front? And who's going to deny her if she possibly can? Maggie calls this through one last time by his there. Maggie calls this to versus Katie Archibald. It's Katie Archibald that takes it. And she will be thinking, I should have done that in my own. Should have this, but she left, left herself some rough room. Ah, oh, wise to it, hits her, picks it up, and she goes for it. Now they're down the back straight. They've heard that uh, final lap announced. It's a big, big move if you want to come through. And right now, the leader overall looks like she owns it. Press earlier on this evening, so having a brilliant night on excellent form here tonight. And this is it, this is the last sprint final lap now. Wow. You know, we said he was disappointed, Mauro Vedri. That's the first time I've mentioned his name in this one. He has been fantastic, and he's practically owned this velodrome. And he does it again. Wow. Talk about maxing out. Yeah. So it is Stenberg versus Archibald. You're looking at Stenberg, uh, Stenberg from on board, Archibald here. Now then, who is this going to be? Essentially a, uh, a, a, a sprint situation for the endurance riders here. And Katie Archibald wants to impose herself, and look at that. That is emphatic. Stenberg knows there's no catching her, and Katie Archibald has maxed out tonight. 40 points she'll carry in total to add to that leader's jersey. I came here uh, desperate to win the scratch race. I, um, I think I went a bit too hard. I was pretty shaky, really, until we got in the start line there. And I thought if I make it into the top five, I really wanted to put Maggie out. Sorry about that. Um, and then once that was done, I thought, oh, I can relax now. But uh, I don't know, I kind of fancied it in the end. So yeah, decided to go home. The riders will be paced for the first two laps, then they'll be um, have three laps of racing to the very end. Lisa Wiefriedrich is a world champion. Will she deliver right now? She beds in just behind the Derny. Behind her is Kelsey Mitchell of Canada. Super strong. Super determined, Dalby. Lorian van Rijsen of the Netherlands in the familiar orange, center of the field, just in front of Emma Heinze of Germany. Surprise, and maybe they're already starting. Bayona is uh, getting a free ride here, and she's tagging onto the back wheel of Emma Heinze. Big old move here, still powering through. She's on the shoulder of Heinze, locking her in. What's Heinze's response? You've already heard the bell. Elbows, shoulders, everything's involved here. But it's uh, Lee Sophie Friedrich that's going to bring it home by the looks of things. She does ahead of Heinze. It's a Germany 1-2. 
Yeah, I think it's an unbelievable competition. It's a new feeling and a really nice show. Let's wait and see. It's a lot of rush. I think he's too far back. I think he's too far back. Here's the 200. Here goes Nicholas Paul. It will take a very big man to beat him at a moment such as this. The crowd know this as well. Here comes Harry Lebrazen. A lot tighter than anyone thought. Nicholas Paul can hold him. Oh, Lebrazen comes through at the very last. But that was wonderful. I think everyone has the same feeling. It's just pain and uh, just want to survive to the end. <laughs> Another excellent result in the Kieran, um, second overall, so cementing that lead for her tonight. Harry Nebrayson held off Nicholas Paul in the sprint final and stays in charge of a competition he is looking to dominate. Perfect night for him once again. All change in the endurance classification, Sebastian Morovedri. And a disappointing Mallorca. He's turned that around tonight, brilliantly so. And there's 100%. Katie Archibald, unbeatable tonight, Jo. Yeah, she was really on another level again. Always fantastic to watch her race. And like I said in her interview, the Strax race was her main target this evening. She wanted to make amends for losing that in Mallorca. And she ended up winning both events. So 100% record from her tonight.